Hi guys, this is Sarah from Just Another Story, and I am here to bring you a book haul, or my book haul, um, from the last couple of weeks, or my stacking the shelves, as you can tell from the title. I have a number of books to show you, and I really want to get through this quickly, because um, also there's a few things I want to mention at the end of this video, so just make sure to stick around to the end of the video, um, just for just my announcements and some cool stuff that I've seen going around and that I have going on. So, first book I have to show you, these next three are from the library, um, is White Oleander by Janet Fitch. I don't know, I just decided I wanted to read this. <laughs> um, I've seen the movie years ago, and I don't really remember it. I was young, and then thought, oh, I think I'd want to read the book, because I heard it's vastly different, um, and quite good, so I'm really excited to read it. Um, and that's White Oleander. I'm not sure if I actually will get to it in time before I have to return it because it is quite long and there are a number of books that I want to read before it. But absolutely before the year the year ends I will be reading this. Even if I have to renew it a number of times or I have to like return it and take it out again. But hopefully sometime this summer or definitely before the end of 2012 I'll read this. And that's White Oleander by Janet Fitch which I think has the Oprah Book Club thing on it. Woo Sorry. <laughs> it's my phone. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> Next book that I have is The Selection by Kira Cass. Um, I'd heard, I've heard lots of mixed reviews on this book, and I've also heard not very good things about the author and her agent and how they approach negative reviews and their response to them, which is really disappointing and it really makes me not want to read this book. But again, I am going to read it and I'm going to give, um, re be reviewing it and I will be honest in my review because I think that's my right and my prerogative as a book blogger. So yeah, I don't know. I'm still going to read it, I think. It's not long, um, but I do. I want to see what's going to, what this story is, is about and what it's like. And yeah. So that is again the selection by Kira Cass. Um, last book that I have to show you from the library, and I just, before I even say anything, I have hair. It's just really dark and gloomy outside, and I have no other lights on in my room because I just really wanted to use the natural lighting. Um, so it looks like it's totally dark back there and that my hair is gone, but it's here. <laughs> I do have hair. It's just blending into the darkness back here. But last, the last book from the library again is uh, Five Miles South of Peculiar, Pe having trouble saying this, Peculiar. Five Miles South of Peculiar by Angela Hunt. Um, this um, book was just released by Simon & Schuster, re-released by Simon & Schuster um, in their mass market paperback, trade paperback, which I'm so excited about because um, I really wanted to read this book. And I saw it on their website and I was like, oh, that sounds really good. And then I looked at the library and they had it. And so I was really excited. And I love the cover. Like I love the luggage and the different colors of the luggage and how it's a train station, I think, or no, that might be even a house, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this is about three sisters, I believe, and just, they come back, they somehow find their way back to each other. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure, but um, I'm excited to read it and I will be reviewing it, so you can look for that on the blog probably sometime in July. Next is a book that I bought when I was out at Shoppers Drug Mart, which is just a drugstore, like, yeah. Um, in my, close to my work, we go to the drugstore a lot close to my work, because that's about the only thing around. Um, and a friend of mine was buying Catching Fire, so we were in the book section. And I saw this one, which is called Sister by Rosamund Lupton. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it other than it's about a girl whose sister disappears, and she has to go home and try to figure it out, and it's this big mystery. And there's a crazy twist at the end, apparently, so I'm really excited to read this. It is not very long at all. It's just over 300 pages, and so that won't take me long to read. But I will be reading this before the end of summer, or before I go back to school, which is in two and a half months. Um, so look, looking forward to that. And if it's good, I'm not sure if I will review it. I probably will. Um, but you can check the blog, which I will link below uh, for that um, in the next couple of months. And that is Sister by Rosamund Lupton. Um, quick just side note, I link all of the books, they're Goodreads pages, on the blog. So if you click the link to the blog below 
and all of the all of the books that I've mentioned here I will link them to Goodreads so you can kind of see what they are about um, just in case my <laughs> descriptions leave they leave a lot to be desired so anyways next book the next three books I received they're all for review um, and I received them all from Simon and Schuster Canada so thank you very much for these I'm very excited to read them the first book was that I'm going to show you is called The Blessed by Tanya Hurley this is this looks interesting um, I haven't read anything by Tanya Hurley um, she has written a number of books and it's due out in September of this year um, I want to mention the cover. I think this cover is really creepy because I think this girl looks really creepy. Um, her eyes and how like how pale she is and I don't know I think her eyes just look really like I don't know kind of look unfocused and not really seeing anything or too folk I don't know something about this cover just totally creeps me out and you can't see it but she is crying. I don't think you can see the little tear. Oh no not really sort of. But I think it looks incredibly creepy, so I'm not sure. I will get to this before it is due to be released, so you can also look forward to this uh, review on the blog in the next couple of months. Um, next book I have to show you is In Shadowed by Kelly Craig, or Craig, I think it's Craig. This is book number two in the Nevermore series. Um, I haven't read Nevermore, um, but I have always wanted to because I've heard amazing things about it so this might, having the arc of the sequel might actually give me the the kick in the pants to go in and read that which I will read again before the end of the summer. Um, I have a lot of books I want to read before the end of the summer. Maybe not the end of summer, maybe the end of the year for sure. Absolutely. But this, I believe Nevermore came out two years ago so this is a sequel that has been long awaited. Um, there are lots of fans of the, the series and they've just been really excited about this book so yeah I'm really excited that I got that and that I get to read it as soon as I've read Nevermore and the last book that I have to show you today is Happily Ever After by Harriet Evans this is a finished copy again that I received from Simon & Schuster this is a book I asked for because I was really excited to read it and I really wanted to review it this um, is out in stores it came out June 5th, I believe, um, and it was again a re-release. This is the mass mass market trade paperback, mass market pa paperback trade paperback. I can't remember what they're called. Trade paperback um, of this novel, and it sounds hilariously cute. Just kind of that funny chick lit, um, but goes over a period of time, an extended period of time. Ooh, I think it's raining. I'm not sure if you can hear that, and if you can't hear me because of it, so I'm gonna try and speak up a little bit, and end this video because just it's pouring. Oh wow. Anyways, so I'm really excited to read this um, and I will review it. I'm going to read it as soon as I've got one book I'm reading now and then I will start reading this one. So that's Happily Ever After by Harriet Evans. So that is all the books that I have received in the last few weeks um, and it's a lot. Like it's a number of books. There are seven books so that's pretty good. I just want to quickly tell you that if you click the link below, that I will link below, I am having a giveaway that ends Monday. And I haven't done a video before now to let you know that, but I am having a giveaway that ends Monday for this. You get to win this. This is The Taker by Alma Katsu that I showed you a couple weeks ago that I got for a giveaway. So I'm giving it away. Please go and enter. All you have to do is click the link below and fill out the form. There's no, you don't have to be a subscriber. You don't have to do anything you get one extra entry if you tweet the giveaway but this is a fantastic book it's a beautiful cover um it is so good so go and enter because it is well worth it um and i have like some other paraphernalia or memorabilia <laughs> whatever swag um that you get to win it's signed also this book the taker it's a it's signed she signed it I can't find it. I can't find the signature. <laughs> but yeah, she signed it. And like this is a really amazing book. So you really should go and enter. Because you get to win this. Um, and if you don't win this, you get two chances to win. Um, you don't get... That's the book. But then also there's this cool like swag pack that I'm giving away. Which has the jacket, the dust flap, the mock-up dust flap for this. And some pens and stuff. So... 
that it will be I will link that below go ahead and you can enter um, and I'll be announcing the winner on Tuesday or Wednesday I'm not sure I'll do that on the blog so just click the link below and that is it this is a incredibly long video I have more videos planned and I'm hoping to have the time to film them but that is all for me I hope you guys have a good week and I will talk to all of you soon okay bye